Well, hello, hello. Good day, good day. Um, first of all, I feel like a fool. <laughs> I've just been doing the <laughs> voice over this video on the wrong video file. So, yeah, I have this whole file, two videos to get two games together for, for one video, and I had the whole voiceover for one of the for, for one of the games, and then yeah, that was not the other game. So I <laughs> have to do it all over again. Um, this game, these games, about the U451, uh, I have one of my best results ever in a submarine, and I've played a lot of submarine. So, um, yeah, I was kind of proud of that, although the first part of the battle is kind of slow. So, um, yeah, the, the most important part is at really the end, the end of five minutes, and that's a really good, short video. So I want to make something proper. So I'm showing you here... Uh, another another game as well, first game here, uh, pretty good results, uh, just how I would like to play my submarines, and um, yeah, just a good good example, and then we follow up with the insane result game, it's just, it just ridiculous. Anyways, here we go, uh, we have to do a little bit fast forward, because the first part is always a bit slow, and uh, you just have to get in position. So we did our, use our uh, hydrophone here to find this buffalo over there. We haven't found anyone else here yet, except for now a Jinnan over there. Watch the minimap, by the way. My most important thing is play with the minimap. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, the minimap is really important because uh, that's what I play mostly on. Because on the water, it looks awesome. Also, this rock to the right here would be very important later. Remember the rock. Um... But yeah, it's, it, the minimap is what you work most on because, yeah, you need to see what enemy is and what they're doing. And on the water, you don't see too much. I mean, it looks cool. And sometimes you have a whale shark next to you, which I think looks really awesome. I like that they add those, those things to make it just live a bit more. So we're trying to get to this um, buffalo. Buffalo is, of course, radar and hydro. I want to stay out of range of that. He didn't hydro yet. He didn't hydro yet. That will be his last mistake, I think. Because I pinged him. He knows I'm here now. He should now press the button. Instantly press the button, but instead he does not push the button. <laughs> he just doesn't push the button, and um, well, that means first blood is ours. Um, so we now have left a Jinnan, a Montana, no, sorry, is it Montana? No, a, a, a Natara, a Natara, um, yes, and a Michelangelo. Michelangelo has the hydro, the rest does not. Now, I'm having some bombs out here from the planes. That is um, Michelangelo there. Uh, Jinnan is getting awfully close. I see where he is at the moment. I do need to use my hydrophone here to see where he's going because I need to dodge whatever he's doing. I'm trying to go back to my team because I don't have anything to work with. They know where I'm here and he's right behind me. Look at the look at the, look at the arrows there. All yellow, those so who are safe. That means they're out of range of damaging me. Sometimes even when they're red and they're just on the edge, they will not hit you, but... That's, that's a risky thing to do. Sometimes it works. So Jinnan here. Can I give him some uh, a little bit of pain? Also, no oxygen left. Koshubo is down. So we just need to run here. We need to re-oxygenize. Re With the breathe. Chat, remember? Breathing is important. Also, we're on the surface. Spot by Jinnan. We can tank a little bit, though. And my glad you launched too early. So those were not really on target. One fire, we fixed that. I just want to make sure I have the highest speed I can get. I go to 60 meters down. Because it will give me a little bit more time to go up. Just the animation takes longer. And therefore I have a little bit more time underwater. Before I go to the surface. It's just a fraction. It's just a few seconds. But that might be the difference between dying here and winning. But Jiren seems to be following us. Uh, Michelangelo might also. Uh, yeah, they're definitely following. Check. He does want to turn away. I think he doesn't want to get hit by um, my uh, Montana Napoli Zao combination in the corner. Also, we did just spot a U4501 over there. So, counterpart scene. He, he went past me in the water. A few bombs above us. Where are the arrows? No arrows. Michelangelo not launching far enough. Or he just uh, doesn't have the range. Second set. Where are the bombs? Can I? Try to see if I see bombs. There's there's the bombs. Ah, just a bit too far behind me. This thing is really quick on the water. Uh, if you go straight ahead, I think you go to 37.7 knots maximum speed. That, that, that's after you go for a while straight ahead, though. If you make the slightest turn, that's gone. 
Now it seems that Jinnan got against the island there, so let's see if he actually is there. He is, good. That means, oh wait, is there's DCP, oh. Oh, now, now we have a free kill over there. If he's stuck against the island nose in, his DCP is down. DCP only lasts for 5 seconds on cruises. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt, sir. And we're safe. 5.4 km detection range. So we're safe here. And we can breathe again. I cannot all ping that. I do want to all ping it. Because it is still kind of easy to dodge. Or to avoid most torpedoes. And I do need to hit at least 3, I think, to kill him. That's 1. Got a bomb. Oh, 2 is enough. 2 is enough. Another flood. I do DCP this. I don't want to take the damage. Although I could have just waited out my heal. I could have just waited out and just healed it up. Saving that DCP would have been more important than the heal. Because you have more chance of using DCP than heals. Because heals don't work on the water at all. They just stop working if you go in the water. Oh. Okay. I have music on, but why is the music not displaying? That's not good. Just a little bit soft then, I guess. A little bit up. There. That should be better. Yeah. Alright. Okay, Michelangelo came forward. We saw the 451 again. I hope my teammates can bomb him. I think they do. There comes some support fire. Good, good. We did... We did get the Jin in there. So, Michelangelo is the only one left on this flank. And I think he's stuck there, isn't he? Is he gonna stuck on the islands? He just disappeared. So, yeah. So, there's no way to um, to stop that. I think Roos really need a bit more DCP time on them. That 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 5 second duration is not enough against uh, against submarines. Because oftentimes when I use DCP, I could just instantly reping them. And the time it takes for the ping to arrive at the target is usually 5 seconds. So, uh, yeah, they just get pinged again and then it's gone. Although he's stuck against the island, stationary basically. <laughs> ah, overextended. Yeah, this is just him <laughs> going in too far. He was trying to follow the Jinnan though. Um, yeah, and just Jinnan just died and then he was alone. All alone. Good hit. Double ping. My counterpart has been taken out. So A should be free as soon as we have this Michelangelo, which we do have now. Perfect. Perfect timing. Yes. That's a third kill. Um, now, at the moment, we see our teammates being centralized in that um, D456 location. Uh, they don't really have any map control or any vision. No one is protecting C. The enemy got a Kitakame, a small Lester. Either of them will go to sea. That's just what's going to happen. They have a Vermont, pretty stealthy as well. So those guys can be moving quite well. And no one is spotting them at all. Which I wish one, someone would do. I mean, I can't. I'm busy. I'm going to try to spot the, the western flank here. Hopefully don't get caught by Yoshino's Hydro. That's the main threat here. Okay, we found Montana. Montana detected. For only a second, I think it's a Puerto, just saw him. Now go into the capital, show the enemy where I am, of course. So, um, yeah. That's not the best, but it needs to happen. We only have, uh, we have half their points. <laughs> we have half their points. This is not good. But this is not good. Also, we lost more ships than they did, so, um, yikes. No Yoshino, sir. Can I detect you? Brett's using Hydro? I mean, you should could torpedo the islands, but that's a pretty difficult torpedo angle. It could happen, though. <laughs> Better used or not used, I guess. Now, what do we see here? Oh, we're gonna see there's... Stunder Cap? Now, Yoshino, where are you, sir? 
I mean, all these islands are very scary for uh, for subs because I only have 14k max. I can tank some if they use AP. If they use HE though, I am usually screwed. Especially uh, Hindenburgs and stuff have you wrecked my face because they're that that they just is good. There's Shishino. Uh, I do want to cap this, and I do want to keep him spot for my Perso because I think I'm the one spotting him. Uh, Perso getting hammered over there. Flying some shells over there, good. So look, I can't really go in the water even though I'm fully, um, I'm full on oxygen. Oh, we see shadows are range. I do want to speed up here, and I'm fast in the water and above water, but I think I do need to keep spotting Yoshino, so my teammates can take care of them. So that's the reason I'm not diving instantly after getting this cap. Um, let's see, Napoli did get the B cap though, so that's pretty good, although the enemy is capturing C cap. And uh, Anatara, aha, I said it correctly this time, is moving forward. So they're moving up towards C, they're trying to get the third cap again. Now, I'm just waiting for my, for my LS to finally kill him. For, there we go. So I can uh, go down and go faster. Maximum speed. So, let's see. We got here Montana and Vermont going forward towards B. Rhode Island coming towards me. Smolester not capping, so keep the cap is one capping there. And Smolester getting around us. Uh, there goes the enemy Montana. Pretty good, pretty good. We needed that. I don't think it's enough though. Napoli against Vermont. Um, Napoli is a great ship, but that's a Vermont. Uh, hmm. I hope Napoli gets out of there in the B cap. I hope he does. Rhode Island is getting closer. We have already launched the torpedoes here. Because uh, the enemy was sailing towards us, sailing into range. So I want to get my torpedoes off cooldown again. To send another uh, volley. Um, Rhode Island, the new battleship with radar. Uh, Nine kilometer radar on the thing. There it is. And um, yeah, that, that is uh, one of the new things. I think it's one of... You have, you have a few ships with radar. A few battleships with radar. You have the... Uh, let's see. You have the Rhode Island now. You have the... Missouri. And you do also have the, the Russian tier 8. There's one. Uh, Borodino. I think those are the only battleships with radar. I might be wrong. But uh, yeah. Still nice to know. And there's his DCP, so these just are, are simple launched. And they still look pretty decent. Now he's within 2 kilometers, he will see me here. So can I kill him before he does too much damage to me? I mean, he will damage me. But he does have quad turret, so I think it's uh, turret reverse will be pretty bad. There we go. Didn't take too much damage, but there comes Vermont. And Vermont a, and a submarine wolf is kind of silly. The damage is really good on that thing. Look at it. That's a third of my HP with one bomb. And there's bomb number two. Yes. <laughs> I barely lived because I already healed beforehand. Do you remember the heal I did back there? When I was fleeing away from the Jinnan? That's the only reason I live now. Yeah, heal is good. So, uh... Oh, we lost everyone. We lost everyone. Check. <laughs> We're just alone now. Ah. 1v4. Yikes. Well, I do have four kills, so it would be nice to get a crack in here. Vermont should be coming around the corner. It should be an easy kill. It should be very low HP. Got a little bit of hiccups there. My apologies. I did uh, compress the video a bit, and uh, I do need to work on my... Uh, on those hiccup thingies. Oh. Well. So this should hopefully kill the Vermont. Because he, what, did he had, what, 8k? So, two should be enough to kill him. Vermont is nimble. Vermont doesn't really, uh, doesn't really care about uh, turning circles. He's like, yeah, I can turn this. Now, capturing B, I would assume that is Smolester. I am assuming Smolester. Oh, 84 HP, really. Come on, come on, get him. He, he needs to go. He, need, he really needs to go. I, I, I cannot fail this volley because that's that's a problem if I do. He's turning. Don't you be turning. Take the torpedo. Don't. He's, he's dodging it, isn't he? He's dodging the torpedo. Okay. Houston, we've got a problem. <laughs> Houston, we've got a problem. Uh, 84 HP and I can't kill it. 
I need to wait another 22 seconds and there's Molester spotted. Right behind me, plus there's the Hydros. Yikes. Yeah. Um, if I could kill this guy, I could focus my attention to Smolensk and I could kill Smolensk. But um, yeah, this guy's still here, within three kilometers of me. Oh, there's Smolensk. Yeah. Yep. Now, third time's charm, right? Third time should hit him. Oh, uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going way too much on my gray line. I should not go for my gray line so much. But uh, I did. Although this volley looks good. Oh, there comes the bomb. That's a problem. I uh, Yeah, I don't, I don't have a third of my HP left. I have less than a quarter of my HP left. And if you look to my left over, you see the little red arrow. And there it is. Yikes. Ow. <laughs> oh, shit. Still a Kraken, 150,000 damage, uh, 5 kills obviously, um, not too shabby. So this is how I like to play my, my submarines, I didn't, I don't really see that I've made a lot of mistakes. Uh, the first one where I went very close to, uh, the, to the buffalo, if he pressed the hydro button there I would have died. So that was risky, a bit too risky, but it did pay off, we were lucky with that one. And uh, beyond that, I don't think I've made a single mistake in the game. So here comes the game, which is for me one of the best results I've ever had in Submarine. Um, although the first part is pretty slow, so we accelerate this, we're going full speed into this. A counterpart, U451 is important in this match. And the rest you'll see. Uh, I'm going to work together with Holland, who's going to be right next to me. And we're going to try to clear our flank. Now, um, obviously... I should see here. Hulk is behind me, Jin is behind me, they're in division. Kurp is behind me, and Schlieven coming this way. I want to make sure this flank is safe. I want to make sure there's no torpedo threat for my Kurp first or Schlieven so they can move up forward. So I'm using my hydrophone here. There you see the U4501 in front of me. I ping him on the minimap. Um, not everyone pays attention to the minimap, so I want to make sure people know hey, that that last known position is actually accurate right now. And here I start failing. Because underwater pegging is not something I'm really good at. Uh, it's You don't really get a lead of anything. So you have to kind of guess. So I'm trying to use underwater one. Sometimes you aim straight underwater if you are 30 meters down. That's roughly... The game considers a, a, a plane. So a flat plane. Where if you aim straight ahead, you will always be able to hit the one who's in, at the same level of you. So I've hit a lot of people by just predicting where it would be and then aiming at straight ahead so I would aim at um, a level so they would actually get hit by the ping. Uh, there comes Jinnen. So I don't want to turn in too much because that thing can hurt me a lot. He doesn't have flying ASW but his, um, his HE is no joke. I'm trying to go to service here since we don't see 4551 anymore. He's underwater. I need to preserve my oxygen. It's a bit like um, DDs who want to who be the last one to use the smoke. You want to be the one with the most oxygen in the game so you can force them above the water. So as long as you can force them underwater, where he's also not able to spot, the better. Now Holland here is uh, kind of in trouble. <laughs> Pretty good view from Holland in trouble though. That fire, the, the, the destroyed engine, yeah that's, uh, that's a lot. So we're going to try to hunt down this U451 here. And um, if I'm not mistaken, this will take a bit. There comes a bomb from one of my allies, so not a threat to me. And they were aiming for the 451, so that's all fine and dandy. So we skip ahead a bit, because uh, as you can see, we've moved uh, quite a bit from over here to over there. It's It's been a long trying to get this U451, not much happens in the meantime. And there she finally goes. So finally our flank is cleared, except for our curves back there. And at this point I decide I can't really chase much. I'm fast on the water, true, but we need to get that cap. We need to get the curve first. And we are already overextending here. Hunt is a bit too far in ahead. Our curves is as well. Their curves dies. So I decide to go back towards the, uh, towards the sea cap here. Which, uh, time jump, I just did. As I said, not much happened there. It was just sailing. Nothing else happened. So I used all my oxygen, trying to regain it, and... Well, this is roughly where it starts. We're capturing the sea cap. 
We just lost our Rhode Island. And we are trying to get towards, uh, towards the center of the map to just see that I can intercept people. I want to help my Annapolis out because he's getting pushed away. He's the only one left on that flank. Alant and Corpus are really gung-ho. I think a bit too much. So they're trying to get the Yamato and Hindenburg, but yeah, Corpus is okay, but Alant is really far ahead there. He, if he gets spotted at any point, he'll, he'll be in trouble. But he's Holland, he should be able to do decent there. And there goes our curve first, yep. I think he got Hindenburg, right? Yeah, he got Hindenburg. So we got the Piemont, Marceau, Hindenburg, Yamato, and the curve first over there in the in the A cap. Uh, Annapolis, by the way, doing insanely good work here, decapping curve first on cooldown. And uh, that, that will make a lot of difference. That will make a lot of difference. So, uh, if I were the enemy more so, I'd either be in the A cap, capping it, or going towards the B cap right now. I uh, don't think you want to go to Minotaur. Maybe you want to find the Haaland, it's also an option. But I, if I would be him, I would probably go for B cap here, since it seems free, as long as you get past Minotaur, and he can. And the enemy actually says it in all chats. <laughs> What? That there are... Marceau is not hunting down the Holland, so Holland is like, Oh, hey, I'm free here. Nice. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, don't type those kind of things in old chat, guys. That's just... Giving your enemy information is... Uh, one, it's not cool. And two, it's just stupid to do. Don't do it. A curve is turned back again. He's getting farmed down by Minotaur. I hope Minotaur survived this. I mean, the decapping is great, though. There goes my hole. So it's not just me, Annapolis and uh, Holland over there. But the decapping is kind of important here, I think. Even though he died for it. So I'm in Central Cap. There's, there's Marceau. We found him. He's going for the Holland. So he did do what his team asked him to do. Can Holland get him? Oh, I... Nope. It doesn't. Nope. Marceau just easily won that. So what I can do here is try to get those two cruisers a little bit damaged if I can. They're about to get in range, so I could already launch here. And just let them sail into range. And then ping a bit later so they don't have enough room to um, disengage while get and getting out of range at the same time. And trying to give things spot for Annapolis over there, because he's been doing pretty good. There, there you see the shells coming. Uh-huh. Hindenburg does the first set. He's probably having his Hydro active right now. There's his DCP. So that's uh, three hits from now on. There he goes. Five seconds. That's all he has. Bomb's not in range. Check. Uh, he's going pretty broadside. And Annapolis didn't slap him. Hindenburg turned back. Trying to get that angle. Torpedo's on the way. Dull ping confirmed. I'm still on the surface, my oxygen is full, so I'm ready for this battle. Hindenburg 6km Hydro, I do want to be low enough. I don't know what Piemont has, so I assume a Hydro. Uh, Piemont also on fire there, so that's a DCP gone. Hit one torpedo on the Hindi. I mean, Hindi's real low, but he is healing? He's healing, yeah, yeah. Uh, Piemont we never pinged, so I hope he just sails into these torpedoes. There goes Annapolis. It's now 1v5. And... Ooh, so close. Annapolis almost got him. Almost got him. Now, how are torpedoes looking? First, Hindenburg. Hindenburg gone. Piemont next. We do have a good amount of oxygen here. We can keep this up for a while. I don't know what Piemont's um, consumables are. I really need to look it up. This game has too many ships. <laughs> Anyways, that's 18k. Good. He does a fly ASW. Good to know. Now Marceau into, went to sea. We don't know where Curvers went or where Yamato went. Uh, if they're smart, they're just running away and winning. Because they should. They got almost three caps here. And it's only one enemy. Can we grab this guy? I mean, I think... Yeah, three should be enough to kill him. One P. 
thing to make sure to actually go towards him. Yep. Oh, we didn't kill him, but... But... No, there's an ECP there. Bit of a wide spread here. I just need to hit one. That's all I need to hit. And I think... Oh, there's... Okay, bombs. We hit him. Good. So... Oh, that's... Uh, yeah, I was about to go up. But glad I didn't, because that's Marceau over there. Scary. We have 18 seconds for torpedoes. Um, yeah, this is a problem. Houston, we've got a problem. <laughs> 700 HP and I can't do anything. There's instant DCP. Perfect. That makes my life a lot easier. I didn't even appear ready. I just pinged him to get his DCP off and he did. So perfect. So this should hit. If I'm if I wouldn't be if I wasn't if it wasn't bad. I'm bad. Yeah. <laughs> How did I miss that, that ping? I don't know. I just did. So a bit of a wide spread there. Does it always need to be pinged? I mean, 700 HP. Any torpedo that hits is good enough. Curve shooting us is a good option, by the way. Curve shooting us is a good option. There goes Marceau. Perfect. 50 seconds oxygen. I'm going down into a void curve damage. Um, let's see here. Good. So, my thought process here is to maybe I go for C and cap that. But seeing the, the, the points, the points is okay. The timer is okay, but I need to get two caps, and Curves will get a cap, so I do need to engage these two here. Because if I don't, um, I don't have the time to capture both caps. Let's see... Oh. <laughs> the, the Marceau is being toxic in chat, saying that I'm toxic. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of interesting. Now, Yamato and Curves coming my way, that's actually good. Because that gives me a chance. If they would be running away, I had no chance, but they are not running away. So one set for Curvus, he's sailing into range right now. Yamato just shooting the water. I mean he could he could hit me. If he shoots as he does, the splash is pretty good. So if he hits even near me, he would hit me. And they would have an indication of where I am. One ping on Curvus. Keep in mind that six kilometer high drop is. I don't know if it's ready. One ping confirmed. They shoot the water as they shoot. The amount of using the bombs over there. Curve is using bombs. Okay, there's a bit of a friend and eel situation here. Torpedoes. Good hits on curve first. Look at that 4k left. DCP is active. I'm going down here so I slow down so I get a better turn here. Also, do not give him a chance if his uh, Hydro comes up, because a Paris could have, it can be Hydro spotted. And I'm in range, definitely in range. So, Line Street Curve, that's what a ping. And I'm trying to get my back set off to get Yamato torpedoes here. Hope they can get to him before the island. I'm going down again to make sure I don't get Hydro's here. So, the Dumbfire torpedoes at Curve kill him. And that set is going towards Yamato, not pinged or anything. So I need to get a ping on them and hope that they will make it around the island, but that's a um, that's a long shot. That's a real long shot there. But they're going. Can I get a dull ping on him? I'm trying to get a dull ping here. There's the DCP, so are they going to hit him? He has 15k HP. Are they going to hit him? One seems good. Two and three might be good. He didn't die. He did die, but he's flooding. He is flooding. He used DCP. He's flooding. Come on. Fl yes, there we go. Kraken. There we go. Kraken. And, well, we were 1v5 at one point, didn't we? So, this means... My first ever solo warrior game in a submarine. I'm kind of proud of this one. I thought I had to make it into a video, because that was kind of awesome. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I, I hope you uh, you uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's fun. I think it was kind of awesome. I'm really proud of this one. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys uh, next time. Have a nice rest of your day, and uh, see you again. Cheers.